Hey there everybody, Kopiki here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we end up completing a bit of all, almost all of Lost Kingdom. And then we managed to go ahead and finally make it to New Donk, which we had to save from a giant cat, uh, a giant wonderful mecha uh, uh, wiggler. I don't know why the name couldn't really um, come to mind. I, I guess it was just very, very weird to go ahead and think of a mecha a uh, mecha wiggler of all things. But now that we're done and Bowser has basically left and did not bother to stay because he's a punk, we have to go ahead and, well, you know, end up realizing what we need to do now. Also, I never really bothered to showcase the... Whoa! Okay, didn't really know I can do that. That's actually kind of weird. All right, cool. Anyways, that was the snapshot, which is basically, um... Utilize to go ahead and uh, take random pictures and stuff. It's actually kind of cool. This is very nifty. It's uh, it's kind of weird. How do I zoom in? <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey. Ben and ben 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 ben. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do I zoom in? No. How do I? Oh wait. Is the zooming button this? Wait. Hold on. Oh, that's the zooming button. Well, Mario is not even. Okay. He is checking out that lady, apparently. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's actually now head into New Donk, shall we? All right, so what can we do in New Donk? Well, what can we not do in New Donk? That's the real question. Well, we can do a ton of things, but your major mission in terms of completing everything, well, completing New Donk as a whole, is essentially uh, helping Pauline to go ahead and get all the band members for her ceremony that they usually do for every single time in New Donk for celebration. Uh, so yeah, she wants to go ahead and find all the band members and, you know, do, do, do a bunch of things. This sequence is actually kind of morbid because Mario is literally taking control of, uh, taking control of a... Can't you just like do like a little bit of a thing where you can just kind of like, kind of like, you know, kind of like just dig in there? Can you just like, can you do that? Like, uh, like I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Like, can't you just, just a little bit? Just, just, just a tiny bit? I, I don't even know. I'm bothering. <laughs> Anyways, what you need to do is basically take control of this man and end up basically using very, very janky. RC controls, and I literally mean janky, because these controls is, um, they're, they're, they're fun, sort of, not really, wow, alright, uh, back it up, back it up, alright, cool, there we go, <laughs> that's how we go and go about getting that, uh, that's a lot harder than you think, okay, we can climb trees, climb real trees, with his cap on, you notice that the entire area kind of looks vastly different compared to what it looks like in the rain. Well, I mean, that's, that's just New York for you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it, it's weird. Anyways, grab this moon over here, and then we can go ahead and start exploring a bit more. There's so many things that we can really do in New Donk for the most part. More things get unlocked later on, but as of right now, this is kind of the, the big... The big area I find in this place. But, you know, what you gotta do. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and sit right here with this guy and say, Yo, how's it hanging? I'm your friend. Thinks that he's lonely. Feeling lonely. He gives you a moon for just sitting down with him. But then the sad part is he realized that you're gonna leave him. And there's nothing that he can do about it. Anyways, we got a slot machine again over here. Apparently, they just keep migrating to different areas, but hey, what are you going to do? This time, we have four instead of three, so obviously, you will have to end up getting one. Okay, not that direction. That direction actually will screw me up. So, wait for the heart. Bada boom! And there you go. And that's how you get a winner winner chicken dinner. Even though that really makes no sense, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go up top of here. We already got those coinage already. And let's go up here. Uh-huh, what's this? I see me something incredible, do I? Now, if we look all the way over on this side of this building right here, we will end up finding a 
painting, but this painting is no ordinary painting. This painting has a character that we all know and love. It's Poochie from Yoshi's Island. And he actually has found something back at Lake Kingdom, which we need to go there to go ahead and get that secret moon, or that pitcher moon, I like to always call them. That's essentially what they are. Ow. And there I go. That's okay. Alright, so let's see. There is a taxi that we can go ahead and access, which is right over here, and it will actually take us into a different area. So let's vamanos! We actually enter in the second area of New Donk, which is uh, the rainy section. I don't know why it's raining here. I kind of like to think of this as, as the shady section. We can also blow up taxi cars. That's actually kind of messed up, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, we need the tank, and we also need to go ahead and blow up all the sections, finding all the moons. And there's also one secret moon here as well, which we can end up finding very easily. Usually the moon pieces are usually the hardest thing to actually find, while everything else is pretty much uh, fair game. Also, that guy is trying to snipe us. He thinks he's slick. That ain't happening. But he's not destroyed. Anyways, sh you can shoot this. You can shoot that moon. Luckily enough, if you know that you can go ahead and collect moons by just shooting them. The mini moons, not the big moons. You can't really get the big moons. Anyways, get that one. Uh, Alright, so... Knock down this, kill that thing, if we can get it. Love all these, get ourselves a heart, shoot this. Shoot all those up there. Oh wait, no, it's not in boxes, oops. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking this entire tank all the way up. Aha! Move right there. There is no secret moon over there. Ah, what is on here? if we can actually ground pound it properly instead of just literally missing our mark. Oh, we still have six lives. Okay, so the six hit points actually do stay. I thought they disappeared if you end up resetting the game. Guess not. That's actually good to know because I, honest to God, thought that they disappeared if you end up resetting the game. That makes everything so much better now. As we collect this last one and the moon will actually end up on down there but then there's also one more moon that we can get before we end up leaving this area so that way we don't have to actually come back because if you do end up leaving this area you will have to come back for it which we're not gonna go ahead and do all the enemies do respawn so you know if you think that you're gonna be missing anything don't do not worry there should be the moon should be somewhere around not there where could the well okay well the, if the camera's doing that then that means the moon is not over there let us find out oh wait i mean i'm glad that it actually is playing this theme though because it's kind of and you, you don't really hear this theme a whole lot hmm where is that moon anyways because i I think if I remember correctly, it's supposed to either be on top. Bowser tanks. Seriously, Bowser literally just has almost everything at his disposal at this point. How is he even affording all of this? You know what? I ask that question every single day. Like, how is Bow How is any enemies able to afford any of the stuff that they um that they keep producing every single day? And it's like that's never even answered. Because it's like, where do they get the money from? Consider the fact they're villains. They don't really have money at the disposal. Oh, good job. You just literally merge your own friend. How do you feel? I feel terrible. Oh, well. As long as you feel terrible, I don't feel anything. Because <laughs> I don't care. Right, where else is that stupid one? Aha. All right, so I found it eventually and it's actually right over there i knew that there was one over there over here the problem is is that um okay we got it all right so you had to you did have to bring the tank all the way over here i knew that there was a second one here because i actually literally thought i don't know how long i took i think that it almost took like a good nine minutes just to find jesus <laughs> oh boy let's get out of here 
It's a good thing I end up cutting rather than just keeping it on the screen because that was was actually pretty bad. All right, let's actually progress with more stuff and let's never uh, let's never talk about that ever again, shall we? Okay, dokey. Let's us go. Not in that direction. Let's go up and go ahead and try to find more coinage. Which we can seem to always, they seem to be always near the buildings. I also just saw some, a corner of my eye, which, you know, that seems to be... Alright, well, never mind. I, I, I didn't want them. Let's go ahead and get rid of these trash cans, shall we? I'm indeed the trash man. Oh god, those rats. Alright, didn't know those things exist. Well, I didn't, obviously... I knew that rats exist. I'm more so meaning I've never seen rats in this area before. Let's go in here. Ah, platforming in my Mario. It's more incredible than you think. Also, you might have noticed that most of these pla most of these um, textures kind of look familiar. Well, keep that in mind, because it's kind of obvious what it's referencing. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, like seriously, it really is. Anyways, grab this moon, badabushki. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Even though, to be perfectly honest, that really makes no damn sense. But that's okay. I kind of don't really need you, because you're not high enough for me to go ahead and get those purple coins. Wow, I am surprised you guys missed. You guys are really bad at your aim. Get better. Okay, or never mind. You know what? That's that's fine. <laughs> you guys don't need to try. <laughs> uh, bullet bills are stupid. They're not relatively smart enemies. Okay, I almost died there. <laughs> it's like I come. Oh boy. <laughs> bullet building. Well, that's kind of dangerous. I think Pauline should probably end up fixing that. Just, just FYI. All right. That's a good thing there are a bunch of mysterious pipes everywhere, or else we'll never actually get through anywhere. Okay, so let's see what else we can go in and gather. Ah, there is a checkpoint right over here. And also a taxi that's literally just standing right there. What an odd placement. Yeah, just park that thing anywhere, pal. No one is going to the underground power plant with this taxi here. Why is that taxi there in the first place? That taxi should really be removed. <laughs> but whatever. Ah, yes. If you kind of look at this, this obviously looks like the planet. And it's cool, because you can also see the moon right here. And if you hit the uh, ground pound on the moon, you get nothing. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> Give it time. Probably the post game. You'll probably get something. Will I be doing the post game? Oh, you bet your sweet bibby I am. Because doing the post game is actually pretty damn fun. There's the Mega Whittler piece. We didn't really get its full moon, so instead it's just going to give us a moon here instead. Alright, so let us see. We don't really need to sit down with these folks. These folks don't really give us anything. Post game, there's going to be a dog here, which there'll be another moon that you need to go ahead and get. I uh, might be thinking of something else. Anyways. Knock all those watering containers. Wall jump here. And you can be able to end up finding yourself some more purple coins. Because purple coins is the best. Oh, you also find yourself a moon too. So there will be purple coins here. Guess not. That's okay. I didn't want the purple coins anyways. It's so weird because I was literally trying to hold the direction in the opposite direction. So I actually did not go ahead and um, hit the wall, but I end up hitting the wall anyways, because like the game just does not care. <laughs> the game does not care for your manners. All right, so there is a trash can. Oh, there's three purple coins, or that just literally just two purple coins, and I can't see because of the draw distance. No, it's literally two. Huh? What a weird set. That's odd. We need to go on up. So, let us go on up. I still keep hitting that wall, because we seem to really love hitting that wall, don't we? Wait, I just saw some purple coins here. Come to me, purple coins. Got to get all 100 of these damn things now rather than later, you know? Actually, is there a draw distance in this game? I don't even know. All right, so 
basically we're back up here. We want to go ahead and climb. Want to keep climbing. I said we should be climbing. Oh, there we go. We shall keep climbing on top of this tower. We shall be the new King Kong. Even though uh, the equivalent of King Kong is essentially Donkey Kong, but he's not in this game, so whatever. Or is he? I mean, we have Pauline here. Who's not to say that Donkey Kong actually does not exist in this game? Am I right? Nah. Anyways. Uh, make sure that you are over on this direction. Grab this moon right here. And then as you're jumping off, use your little hat jump. Go ahead and target yourself here. Float and get this moon in this trash can and bada boom, you got yourself two perfect moons and now I'm a trash man. <laughs> We're not done yet though, because we do have to go ahead and make our way back over there, sadly. So go ahead and get to the electric zip, go all the way up to the top, end up seeing the little target uh, thingy over there, end up jumping, jump, jump, jiminy jump. And grab that moon right there, Bushka. <laughs> Glittering above. Love that, that almost looked like the Isle Dolphino thing. End up doing this. I think I might have screwed up. That's okay. I'm not gonna make this. Alright, so, you know what? I actually, sadly, do not remember how you're supposed to actually get that. Unless there is a way of getting that, and I'm probably just doing it the wrong way. It wouldn't even be surprised if that was the case. And if I am, then... Damn. Also, this is only just to go, you can go ahead and just get across here. It's not really used for any other means besides just being able just to get across. That's really it. Uh, alrighty. So, we got N N O C. Well, NDC, I should say, not NOC. Don't know why I said NOC. It's not what it says. <laughs> Alright. So, to be able to actually get over there, I think you probably need to, like, fling yourself. Because, no offense, there is no other means of actually getting over there unless you fling yourself forward. So, what we need to do, we need to find some sort of way of actually flinging ourselves in a general direction. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some flingers, shall we? We have been going on for quite a bit, though. So, anyways, let's uh, fl fling ourselves in that general direction, shall we? And there we go. That's how you get to that platform. I don't know why I was trying to do it the hard way. <laughs> All right, we'll do this last moon, and then after that, we'll call it an episode. Because, no offense, we have actually have been going on for quite a while. It probably says, it says 31 minutes for me, but half of those times is just me cutting. So... You know, this is where I do all my training. <laughs> Dude, you do training like this? That's pretty hardcore. That That's also kind of weird, considering the fact that I should be, like, the one to be able to actually do this stuff. Oh, my God. This is... That is, like... You know what? That ends up basically making all of my errors worth it. I also do stuff like that. <laughs> Booyah. Okay. Okay, that's not how you're supposed to do it, but you know what? That's... <laughs> gotta stop doing that what is that that was such that was such sweet skills okay we're actually not done because there's actually one more moon that we can get and i think i kind of missed it so we kind of need to go back because i kind of freaking ignored it yeah it's supposed it's over there can we do that amazingness again probably not okay maybe we will uh, nope, almost, uh, almost messed up by being fancy. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to go up here, wait until this thing goes up, and then go booyah, 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 booyah. <laughs> and there you go. But I can't wait because I'm impatient. My name is Mario. I am Jumpman. <laughs> Alright, cool. 
Uh, we're just gonna make our way back because in all honesty, we don't really need to go ahead. Man, I love the platforming. That was so smooth that it really makes me sad that I messed up that jump like an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. In the next episode, we'll actually be heading... We'll be talking to Mayor Pauline and ask her what she wants us to do. I've been Kopika, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Laters!